allow me to worship Chiku Kika Biyama on behalf of the entire family listening right across the length and breadth of this very planet. All of you who are ordained, all of you who are destined to perform wonders, I welcome all of you. Now, I will present you to Chuku Kika Biyama in heaven. Therefore, our Father who resided in heavens above, looking down upon the pain and the suffering of your children, as was foretold by those who has gone before us, that a day will come when the world will gang up, when all the children of darkness will congregate to prevail against your children. That time is now. We are in pain. We are in so much suffering that man cannot begin to comprehend it. We ask for your mercy. We ask for you to come and present and provide a way where there is none. We ask you to kukika biama ke iwi ke me amarani men do mugini me ni ipodi ne beni ne di chiche we beni ne o wasokur ke ite magi ne belegi di koba so ha o pe sile kendo ha o kwa so so eli igwe we call upon you this evening the vultures are congregating the saboteurs are rising up we are beginning to identify them and we are dealing with them we ask you to give us the strength we ask you for courage we ask you for every ounce of determination and resoluteness make us as hard as steel as only you can do baptize us in your word in your knowledge in your truthfulness and in your strength make it impossible for our enemies to come close to us destroy them before they come very close we will be tempted of course our defenses will be tried without a share of a doubt sometimes there may be breaches but in the end we prevail because that is your word and that is your promise this evening we hold on basically to that very command of yours to your own spoken word the word that you gave to your children when you said to them that they should not worship any idol they should not bow before any graven image we have made mistakes in our lives we have bowed before european idols we have done everything but worship you in truth and honesty but now having realized the errors of our ways we present ourselves before you that you may deal with us as you please so it was prayed thousands of years ago that same prayer will re-echo because we are nothing without you we are nothing without you we can have the best defenses in the whole world we can procure the finest anti-jamming equipment available but it is you that will defend your inheritance you will defend biafra you know that we are honest and truthful people you know that we preach this gospel in the knowledge that your children must be free in the land of the living that they may go back and worship you in zion as they have done thousands of years ago this is our prayer now and always because we are your children you can't abandon us to the forces of evil and darkness that is not your will and it can never be that is why today tomorrow and always as you have called us to undertake this very monumental and epic task as you have determined that your word must be preached in the land that very land you gave to our ancestors thousands of years ago so shall it be done in our lifetime allow us to be worthy to serve thee Chukwa Biyama, allow us to be considered worthy to serve you you know we speak the truth our enemies are liars they are cheats and they are killers they are bloodthirsty bastards all of them all of them ban on they have brought their lies to bear upon all their dealings their tongue is very spiteful 
against those of them who are righteous before your sight please don't allow shame to befall your children don't allow shame to befall your name because we answer your name we bear your name that is why today we make this very prayer in the sure knowledge that Biafra will be restored as your own kingdom upon the face of the earth that you will be worshipped every blessed day of our lives as our children will do and so will their children until time everlasting we have prayed in your name he said he said he said we are here to ensure that the death of 3.5 million people is not forgotten the reason why we exist is to ensure that their memory that they can never ever be forgotten that their memory will linger on forever that as long as man walks this earth this world will remember the 3.5 million people that they killed men and women that did nothing children that we are innocent their only crime is to be blessed by god that is the only crime they have committed as those children were being slaughtered as they were being stabbed to death by a very wicked and cruel world spearheaded by a world everybody looked on and did nothing Instead of them to help us, they ensured that our absolute blockade from land, air, and sea was absolute. That we may die, that the children of God may die. But lo and behold, Tupac determined that we cannot die, that we cannot perish. Like holy, Mr. Producer. I feel me. One way.
I'm feeling good, feeling good, I'm very high. No matter what them do, they cannot bring us down. They've been killing us for so long. No being a woman, they're for so long. Feeling all this stuff is for too long. Oh, my father, we don't know what to do. What's going on? We need the freedom to carry on. Give us the power to overcome. Oh, my father, we don't know what to do. 
Me and no fi do with them praise in the flag up And no fi do with them friends by the line I must to fight and defend my brother's love It wanna be a bad now, yo Oh, yo, bro, no maluko I want to be a critical See, be a friend, who can you? Be a friend, I'm my original Oh, yo, bro, no maluko I want to be a critical See, be a friend, now we own you once again, wonderful people of Biafra, there is no controversy about that. Biafra is our own. I will say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some of you, good night, depending on your time zone. This is Radio Biafra Extra, and we are streaming live through Radio Biafra London, being anchored by the deputy leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. Mazi Uchuka from F4, he's from Abatiti. Abatiti is in Anambra State, and Anambra State is Biafra land. He's the man who has assured us that he will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. Like I always say, one day we will all understand the mindset behind those words. Honestly, Mazi, to come from a four standing on a deputizing capacity on behalf of our Supreme Leader, Mazi Nandi Okukano, the Prince of Afari Biku, heir to the throne of Ibiku Kingdom, the one and the only man that stood up to speak for the collective interest of the Biafran people for almost six decades now. He's from Afari Biku. Afari Biku is in Omoha. Omoha is in Abia State. And Abia State is Biafra land. And by the grace of Chukuki Kabi, I'm a man, George Unibi. I am from Abo. Abo is in Delta State. And Delta State is Biafra land. And I must appreciate the creator. But before then, wonderful Biafras across the globe who understand the precarious situation we have found ourselves. Who understand the dilemma that lies in our way. We understand the need to restore Biafra, not for self-gratification, satisfying one's need, but to ensure that the next generation of Biafra will walk upon this planet Earth as free men and women that they have always been. And so one way or the other, you make your contribution to ensure that the gospel is preached. You know, it is like when Jesus said that nobody who has given a cup of water for the sake of the restoration of Biafra, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, will go unrewarded. Believe me. The world will talk about you. Your children will bless you for it. Because your evidence are waiting for you. But of course, having said that, we give thanks and praise to the Creator. I call him Chukuki Kabiyama. For his hope and stay, the lifting up of our head. A wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Our guide, a matter both great and small. It remain the primordial influence that drives us in everything we do. There is nothing that we have achieved. There is nothing that we are. Without him, we are gone as a people. No wonder our leader constantly say, Chuku Kitabiyama sent me here. Most people do not understand. As we are friends, we do not pray. We don't pray. Your Yoruba church make you to be praying in January to December. Some people are busy sending audio already. Uh, say amen. And he send it to 100 people, you will be blessed. Idiots. Oh, just say, Jesus, I love you. Send it to 1,000 people. You will be blessed. Why don't you say, send it to 1 million people? Let Buku Haram die. Idiot. But not until you understand that as we are friends, we don't pray. Prayer is like begging. Moses understand this in Exodus 14. He was praying and begging. And God said, hold your peace. Don't tell me anything again. What do you have in your hand? And then strike the water, let it part for you. We don't pray. We talk to God. We decree. 
it is decree that we make and that is why when we wake up in the morning while sin our god more and somebody begin to say naked in the moment they are for any moment no you read the moment we decree and it comes to pass we don't pray he goes in limo bibiru mbiradi ki chomamu he goes in limo bibiri mbiradi ki you show me your great mercy when I am not strong, my father. You show me your great mercy when I am not strong. Ani na jage mau makani zoku ne mara mai ihuna nya ine na ge ubi omage udura nya nya dadu ingwe gimbangu odi hune dikage. Ibu wafa no mega ani ni ne na se na ne de mau. You see, having said that, we will move to our topic this morning, as always, which is titled "What We Must Know About the Last of the Five Gangster Leaders in Nigeria." They are gangsters. They are leader. They are evil. They are psychopaths. Five of them is still remaining and very active, but you must know them. You see, we have come to a stage where people must understand what is obtainable. Britain have vowed that they will never allow their friends to go. Ojis or Kalo know what I'm saying. And this mindset makes most of them to begin to think Biafra will not come and they misbehave. But I tell you, Britain will be humiliated. Britain will be disgraced. Britain will erupt from within. And nobody will cover their shame for them. It is simple. In the colonial era, you could do this. Exploitation era, you could do this. Slave trade era, you could do this. But not now. It will be better for all of you to bring your chain to Africa, to Biafra land. And then start all over again. Let us see how it will end. But as far as you pretend and project justice, as far as you pretend and you project equality, you talk about the rule of law, we tell you, your disgrace will know no bound. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter who you are. In our leader's broadcast, he says something. He said, would you believe that Shell and Julius Berger are lobbying with the money, resources stolen from our land, money made from the resources stolen from our land to make sure Biafra is not restored? Of course, my leader. We are not surprised that Shell is doing that. That is what Shell does. They sponsor Buku Haram. They sponsor terrorism. They sponsor courtes. They sponsor communal crisis. They sponsor everything evil in Africa. Most especially in Biafra, we know Shell. They can't hide. But for Julius Berger, it's quite unbelievable. But we know the track record of Julius Berger. But if in a time like this, Julius Berger is stupid and idiotic to be doing that, their own shame will know no bound. We will come after all of you, even when Biafra is restored. Because everything you have done against us, we believe there is a way to bring it to the book. Most of the colonial masters are free today because of a reparation or whatever they call it. But who cares about that? You who kid us callously, we will come for you callously. But they say they're bluffing, they're threatening. Don't worry. When China and Japan were under the clutches of America and Britain, they never knew they would be there. But would you believe that this China and Japan, that British and America humiliated and turned to slave for hundreds of years? Do you think these people can bluff today? Do you think they can? They can only talk. And that thing that makes China tick will make the Afran tick one day. That thing that make in, uh, Indian tick will make Biafra tick one day. And so nobody, nobody will stand up there forever. Kingdom rise and kingdom fall. They were days of the Babylonian, the Medias and the Persians, the Grecians and the rest of them. The Romans, the Romans were so fierce, they wanted all the world for themselves. The current atrocity there, it's just a replicate of what Romans did. That Britain and other criminals like France are using to exploit the rest of the world. But if Rome will fall, if Rome will fall that today, it is just a bedside story. Every nation in the world who is hell-bent to think they're continually feeding on the misery of Africa, you don't know what is coming for you. But you can't stop this if you believe me, because we shall tell the story how we got here. One day. Please bring your frustration. And then most of you say, no, America has not said anything. These people, they won't let us go. Maybe. Britain say, no, we must hold on to the oil well. Instead of us to leave the oil well, we will kill all the Biafra. And then let us see how it will end. And now that is why we are here. 
And the people say, hey, you, you people, you talk hate speech, you, you, you talk like this, but the hate has shown against us is unimaginable. It's unbelievable. We just can't fathom where all these things is coming from. We've never come to your country to fight you. We're just in our own, but yet you are the one stealing our resources. You're the one trying to kill us. Julius Beggar don't tie any road in Biafra land because they are being paid by crude oil. Crude oil that they siphon, they drill without any meter checking what they are taking. Our people in Delta State revolted against it and say, no, Julius Beggar should be paid with raw cash. Let's know what we are spending. The Los Beggar got angry and moved to Abuja and vowed never to tie any streets in Biafra land. Since that very issue came up to today, the only place the Los Beggar pretend to have worked in Nigeria or rather in Biafra land is the flyover in River State. But that flyover in River State by Oyemen was not actually built by Julius Beggar. They gave it out as a contract and parked their trailer there to create false impression that they are the one doing the construction. And so if Julius Beggar will descend so low with all the looting from Biafra land and they want to stop Biafra to continue looting, Julius Beggar should be ashamed. And if German government cannot call Julius Beggar to order, then shame on all of you. You see, what I don't understand is why this nuclear weapon has not been dropped. And so we go as a people, having in mind that those who feel they are greater than us, they actually stop us. In the same way, a lot of things are happening, conspiracy against our people. But most of our people can see this. But we will make you see them. Today here is IPOB. We're working very hard. Every one of us to ensure Biafra is restored. But inside of it, there are people who are wrestling. They are wrestling. They forgot why they are here. Some think it's about the position. Some think it's about the money they make. Some think it's about how close they are to Mazime for or our leader. Some think they are connected. But watch your action. Watch your action. This IPOB we are talking about, it has gone beyond Ndibu. It has gone beyond Amayana Bo or anybody. It has gone beyond all of us. Because Chukuki Kabiyama is standing there. You people will be surprised. You don't know what is coming. But I'm not privileged to tell you that. But you must understand that this deliverer of Biafra Nation is of utmost important. And so when you are doing what you are doing, be very careful. Many people have been paid. They are in IPOB doing romance and fooling themselves. Some will even tell you, don't you know we started this struggle before you? And so what? Yes, you started it. You were even the one that formed it and you brought Mazen and the canoe. But I've seen your like. I've seen your like. I remember in those days, our leader to appoint Omiomio. What was his position? Many women protested. And so Omiomio is a thief. Omiomio is a this. Omiomio is a this. But the weakness of our leader manifested because he overtrust. He overtrust. But we won't blame him for that because that trust is what has led us to force here. You even make me an African rep without knowing nothing about me. That shows divine influence. But I'm saying this for those of you who think you can eat your cake and have it back. It will catch up with you. Many women, I can give you their name. They didn't understand how Chupo Kikabiyama work. They withdraw from the women wing of IPOB because of your Miu Did your Miu not play out itself today? And so when some people are like, hey, we started it, we started it, you are an idiot. A leader will never come on air. The moment he talk, make introduction, he said, I must go to Barista. Huh? But if Barista cannot come to me, I will go to Barista. You think he was stupid? Today, where are those people? And so today, you are taking the privilege of your relationship with Mazen Efor and Mazen and the Canon to undermine this holy project. Your shame and your disgrace will know no bound. For in the end, you will understand what you are here to do. It's not a child's play. Yes, he trusts. He trusts everybody. And some people, oh, I know how to reach him. All of you, just wait, you don't know what is coming. This is Biafra. This is Biafra. Foreign enemy and internal enemy, all of you. This is Biafra. And we are IPOB. I hope you are keeping track of our record of what we have done to this very moment. And don't forget, our topic, what is leading me to create this scenario to make you understand certain things, is simple. What we must know about the last of the five gangster leaders. Most of them go there, they lobby, they have done everything they've done. And when I look at them, and, and I begin to wonder, what do these people take us for? Do they think they can always eat their cake and have it back? It, it is said that once beaten, twice shy. Oh my man, I got that one doing mafia. One do with the domain, I got the Chinese mafia. No, man. It's not going to be that way. And I haven't said so. There are 11 generals. These people are gangsters. They were trained by the British government. They never go to school. They are taught. Current day Miss Grant, Aguru. Look for any name to give them. This is exactly what they want. But there was something unique about all of them. They were strong athletics. They were strong sportsmen. They didn't go to school. You see, when you hear Olympic, 
when you hear sports competition of course it's good one way or the other but let me tell you olympic is a repletion or a repli how do i put the grammar a replacement of collusion for rome to keep everybody bamboozled they introduce collusion and so while they run the affair of the people they constantly confront them with game and then in collusion in rome you hear the sound of the mob because the mob is room but behind it the emperors are looting the world the same thing happening olympic is just a, a collusion most of you now uh, china 1999 uh, japanese 19 it's a collusion you are busy praising on mokachi daniel and the rest food sportsmen and women but behind they are stealing it's a collusion to keep the black man you know in those slavery day you know they just gather uh, two black men give them sport sport to the death to them it's a game of course it remains a game because it enabled them to cool down the temple of the slaves to forget about their problem don't you see how amazing it is in nigeria with every suffering nigerians are going through they are not complaining because they have developed the defense mechanism that enabled them to suffer and be smiling you see a nigerian you say hello how are you are you a nigerian just watch them they give you a very elaborate smile <laughs> yes i'm a nigerian just give them the next minute they will tap you when they see that you look like you're a kind person and you're going to help them they now tap you and say oh sister hey please it, 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 you can't believe i've not even eaten since this week please can you spare me just a slice of a chin chin but this is the person putting on a very elaborate smile and looking they glow nigerians glow but they are idiots very hungry stinking people take all their vitamin c in their body they are so suffering from malnutrition. Most of you don't know that some women wear up to six trousers just for their bumper to come out. The day you tell them to offload, you will know it is Timunanga. Idiots. Reporting to the level we see you still are suffering. But who are the people who are causing this thing? Today you see Yakubuko one. They are five gangsters. These people are psychopaths. Remaining. And they are still there playing on that grand game on our expense. And then they are deceiving us on the pages of newspaper. So uh, we have to we have to bring the social media uh, uh, bill. We have to bring this thing. Uh, let's stop uh, the uh, evil speech. God will punish all of you. We have not even used hate speech. We shall use hate speech. And if God willing, we will use hate action. We shall. And these people are still there, traveling everywhere. They are prayer warriors. Let me let's look at five of them that are remaining. They are eleven generals. They call themselves eleven generals. They unleashed mayhem on our land, Biafra land, 1967 to 1970. They killed over 10 million. They're still working. And some of you call them intellectual and social father. And let's do personality profile, maybe half of this week, doing their research. We look at Yakubu Gowan. He's still alive, somewhere in Plateau State. We look at Olusegu Obasanjo. He's still alive in uh, Ugun State. Ibrahim Babagida. Yes, he's still alive. He's in Mina. Muhammad Bukhari, yes, he's dead, but let's send a message to the imposter in Asu Rock, Jubri from Sudan, idiots. We talk about Theophilus Danjuma. Yes, he's still there somewhere in Taraba. He's shouting, they collude, they collude, but he is the greatest, greatest conspirator of our time. If you people know the atrocity of Tiwa Danjuma, when he was shouting, they collude, they collude, you would have known he's playing his game. He's in contract, he knows his job. We will look at these five persons through this week. But this morning we are starting with uh, uh, Yakubu Gowan. He's the art genocidia. You begin to wonder who are these people? When the British came, for them to be able to stabilize us, they needed three categories of people. That is to make us obedient slave. They needed three categories of people. For Rome to make you a black man, a obedient slave, they amended the Bible. They rewrote the Bible, telling you that oh, we write this to you, O oh, servant. That anything your master do to you, please obey them. Even though they kill you, obey them. Like Jesus Christ, obey and die. So that if you go to heaven, you will get house. The, 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 the labor master did not allow me to get house here in the world. Is it heaven they will allow me to get house? Idiot. And then the other one say, obey the government. Because anything they do, it is God that have appointed them. Obey them. God will judge them. You are idiot. We will disobey them. Let God judge us when we get to heaven. Idiot. But this is the, pro the problem we have with you. You would have expected us to say, oh, well, it is well, the Lord, the Lord will intervene. All of you would have been very lovely, idiot. But we will talk to you, you will never be comfortable. We understand all of you listening to Radio Biafra. We want to make you know that you are idiot. You will never enjoy it. We want you to hate yourself because indeed you are evil. 
The same way they rewrite history and most of his oh Yakubu Gowan is a hero. Did the uh, we cannot change liberation station in Portacot to Yakubu Gowan? Is Yakubu Gowan not a member of Assemblies of God Church? Is Yakubu Gowan not leading a, a prayer warrior in Nigeria? But how did they discover this? Three categories for British to bring up their modern day slave masters, warrant chiefs. Number one, you must be a very hopeless idiot who don't have brain. Your brain is run by kerosene or petrol. That is why Awosa allowed themselves to be used. That is why Fulani allowed themselves to be used. And today, the Middle Belt allowed themselves to be used. Yoruba, some Yoruba allowed themselves to be used. Because their mind is that they will still be stealing the oil, they will still be emasculating all, and nothing will happen. It's a lie, something will happen. So men who are not going to be able to do this, they will not be able to do this. But they will not be able to do this. 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 You lie. To lie, they gather these people who don't have brain, put them everywhere, give them AK 47. Today, you see Nigeria killing Nigeria with pride. We're gonna stop them, they are IPOB, they are carrying flag. We're gonna kill them, we're gonna emasculate them, we're gonna idiots. But you have been killing us for as far as we can remember. But we are still here because we are the recognized spirit of the people you have killed. You will kill us over and over, and we shall come for the end of the prophecy. Say they will kill us, but we will kill them. The tide is changing for your information. That is the first category. That is why all your leaders, they didn't go to school. Stack illiterate everywhere. Stack illiterate. Go on, where did you go to school? They will tell you, he went to military education somewhere in Theresa May Academy. Idiot. We are there Theresa May Academy in Nigeria. Just go and look at all of them. Or Basanjo, I think he graduated in 19, it was in 1996. Open University. Internet a PhD holder. Idiot. But he have ruled you. The end of his tenure, he graduated inside computer. Idiot. And they want to ban computer. Where would Obasanjo would have been graduated? Is, is he not inside computer? Idiot. These are gangsters. Psychopaths that they are. But they know how to deceive you. The second category of people British government took to enslave us as a people. You hear? Those who were good in sports. The time Ifa Jonah was admitted or admitted into Nigerian army, they have stopped taking graduates. Ojuku was there because he's the first graduate in Nigerian Academy or Nigerian Army. But yet, if Arjuna was able to get access into Nigeria, it was because he was a, a, a sportsman. If he had not betrayed, today he would have been in the world record, the first black man to win five gold medalists in one Olympic. But he's an idiot. Most people don't know what if Arjuna did. Ojuku was fighting war. He appointed volunteer to lead, head of security, to lead different group to go and fight the enemy. But most of these leaders begin to sell their group. Today, some people in IPOB are selling their unit to politicians. They collect money and say, let's just go and, and, and do and move ahead. We need the money. You are selling us to politicians. Idiot. But we are watching you. Better have the right to respond to do that. And then sometimes I say, oh, we're going to kill that guy. We're going to do me, moi, moi, me, George Onibi. You people are idiots. But one day you'll understand. That if Nigeria is standing today, it is because there are some people around us who is still supporting them. They cannot do anything. It's not, we are not boosting. We just reaffirming you, they can't do anything. And so why don't you tell them, now you, you, you lead this group, go there, you lead this group, go there. Some of the leaders of those army will go and meet Nigeria and say, I am controlling uh, 1,000 uh, army. How much, how much? The Nigeria army will say, okay, uh, one, one, one million pounds or whatever. They pay them. And then you will think your commander has gone out. The next thing you will see, Nigeria army will surround them and execute all of them. If Fajuna was the one that taught them that, the Biafra army that ran all the way from Shagamu back to Biafra land, you think they were stupid? And so Juku was fighting the enemy and was fighting the internal enemy in the Ushi. And we will sing that song. There are some Yoruba hired idiots on social media now trying to make you feel that if I is a hero, when we are done with all of you, you will understand. But having said so, he was a good sportsman. Gawan was a good sportsman. They pick those sport people who they feel they are strong. They, they can move them. They give them orientation. Hide them on the background. They selected everything they want. It's amazing how they are able to divide Igbo people. That Igbo man will tell you it's not an Igbo man. Is it not amazing? But having selected this second group, the next grade of people they support, they select, are the power brokers. When you hear Obasanjo, he has a role to play. When you hear Buhari, he has a role to play. When you hear Gowan, they were actually assigned with specific duties. For your information, the duty of late Buhari 
in the hem or in the scheme of the British government, he is the reducer, economic reducer. He's the devourer. So the moment they notice that black people, Biafrans, are becoming economically strong, Buhari is the agent they send to destroy your economy. Don't make any mistake about that. 1960, 1976, Marudiko ran to London and told them that Nigeria has a problem. And they say, what is the problem? He said, too much money. Too much money. I don't know how to spend it. Idiot. He's a full animal. And the British say, that is no problem. Go and celebrate Ido. They did it in First Act 76. Idiot. The same Yoruba who hosted uh, Juju Celebrator, the one taking you to heaven. Idiot. Facebook, you all of you cut it off because this week is not going to be easy for all of you. Gangsters, psychopaths, idiots ruling the zoo called Nigeria. And they pretend to be human beings. And so British government say, you mean Nigeria is very rich? From first act today, Nigeria has not recovered. And then they employed Buhari immediately and said, it's time to do your duty for, for, for Britain. You know, in those days when Rome want to deal with you, they will now call you, yes, it's time for you to do your duty for Rome. Who the heck was these guys? And so it was time for them to do their duty for Britain. And then they call Buhari. If you allow Alessi Kweme and Alahadisheu Shagari to continue with the way they are going, look at the people working with them. They are sincere man and Bruce Ali and the like of them. And Nigerians will be rich. And the moment they are rich, they will have the right to talk. Now look at we are poor and yet we are talking. Idiots. And then Buhari came, overthrew Alessi Kweme and Sheu Shagari. And then he became a, a, a corruption fighter. He so much impoverished Nigerians until he introduced it. They call it austerity measure. Idiot. Just a week ago, Nigeria had too much money to celebrate uh, uh, first act. They were having problem of too much money. Your IMF was busy begging Nigeria, devaluate the Naira, devaluate the Naira, devaluate the Naira, as if they were doing you a favor. Idiots everywhere. And now, how many years later, it looks like the good luck being in power actually empowered many Nigerians financially. And then this same colonial master, in collaboration with former American president, they still came and initiated the coded man, Buhari, who is the spirit of devourer in Nigeria. And the people don't get money again, or you cripple them. And now he came, and idiots are shouting. It's a quarantine fight. It is quarantine quarantine. He's dead. Still quarantine quarantine for you. Look at all of you. This is Christmas. Hungry go kill you now. But of course, we 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 are not happy with your condition. But we just want you to know what takes you. All of them have a duty they do. Now coming back to the first gangster psychopath, Yakubu Gowan. When you look at the face of that man, he's old now. Don't pity him. Time will not permit me. I would have played the audio of Yakubu Gowan. Idiot saying trash. I thought he was God. Do you know they call him Jack? When Britain call you Jack, do you know what it means? Jack, go on. Jack, go on. When he was busy slaughtering millions of Biafra, that was when he was in Lagos doing marriage. Idiot. I hope your wife is still alive to be listening. Idiot. I hope your children have become relevant. Come and make them our president now. That is why we tell you, all of you politicians, your children will never be anything in this world. They will never. That is why we tell all of you Yoruba pastors who have succeeded in removing the brain of our people to be giving you 10%. You will never have somebody that will take over from you. Because the moment Adibu you die, Lidin will fight over himself. It started already. And so is Winner. So is Mountain of Fire. So is everything. No matter the law you put in place, this empire that saw blood must be destroyed. The only thing that will save you people, Yoruba church, go and take Yoruba to heaven, no? And leave us alone. Let Biafran pastor take us to heaven. So if they misbehave, we know where to get them. But who the heck? Where do you people come from? Your father fell from heaven and landed in Egypt. But my father was taken to Egypt as a free man who later became a slave. You see, we are not from the same place. Idiots. You need to go back and see what Yakubu Gowan did. Yakubu Gowan is from the North Plateau State. His people are neither Christian nor Muslim, as it was originally. But Yakubu happened to be a fake Christian. This enables them to be able to see him as a middleman that can actually mediate within the multicultural society called Nigeria. He was a perfect tooth. And that is why, having done his job, there is no job for him to do. And so they call on Yakubu Gowa and say, you didn't go to school. You are idiot. You are a monkey. But by the virtue of where you come from, your people are neither Christian nor Muslim. But now you are not our son of Fulani. You are just not an ass. And uh, you, you can wrestle. At least for somebody to beat you, it will not be very easy. You can run. It's an athletics. And then maybe when they nab you, you can run. Uh, so you are, you are qualified for that. We will teach you how to shoot gun. And then polish your English a little bit, which they did for Yakubu Gowan. And when they finished doing it to Yakubu Gowan, Yakubu Gowan became the next representative of the imperialist. Because along the week, we we're going to look at how Biafra land was divided completely, majorly into three parts one in southern Cameroon, the Abazonian, 
and the other one inside the other two inside Biafra land, the division is massive. The next person that continued with this very process was Yakub Gowan. They, they called Yakub Gowan and said, Look at these Biafran people, we don't trust them, they always fight for their rights, and then they, the way they are going, they, they can support us. You know, you people are poor, you don't have anything, and if, 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 if we let them go, you people are broke. According to the Islamic family's language. Okay, what will happen is we are going to send you to them, pretend to be a Christian, you know, neutral guy. This is what we want you to do. And so some months before the war, because the pressure was too much, the same way the pressure is on, on IPOB, and they are conspiring, they are conspiring. That was the same way. A few days before the war, with the conspiration going on, this idiot came and divided the river state. This idiot created cross river state. This idiot now live uh, only the southeast at the middle. This idiot divided Biafra land into terrain, aside the other fourth part that is on its own, called Midwest. And this idiot and some idiot who cannot reason thought the creation of River State was actually to empower certain individual. But if you are a River State man now, can you please tell me? In, in fact, River State. I remember the first day I entered River State in my life, and I was always here in Garden City, Garden City. And when I entered there with my boss then, and I said to him, is this River State? He said, yes. But, but I used to hear Garden City. There is nothing garden inside the city now. The man laughed at me and he said to me, did you see this town? I said, yes. He said, the money that is changing over hand in this state is bigger than the whole of Nigeria. I get that. But the point now is all this money changing. River State are poor people. We're going to use 90% of them are Uguaja, laborers, common laborers. Equated youth, 90% of them are land seller, idiots. When you finish selling the land, I will know what you are going to sell. My family have acres of land. We don't even know it's a land. We don't even share. That's how you're going to say, oh, it's not because there is no idea. Have you been there? I'm just telling you how they deal with you. Is it Andone? Andone people are merely living on the tree now. Is it Abua? Go there now. That is where Boko Haram are raping and doing all kind of evil. Who the hell? Is it Bayasa? With due respect, 90% of Bayasa youth are just simply no job for them. Only few individuals benefit from the creation. But they did us a great time. It was this idiot called Gowan. Today, Cross River State people, they are confused. They don't even know who they are. Their brain is gone completely. If you are from Cross River, I'm sorry. Your brain is gone. They dealt with them, honestly. Ugoja can be in the police now. They are looking like Muron. They don't even know who they are. They just look at Cross River State now. Where is Donald Duke? Trying to develop Tinapa was a threat to Nigerian unity. They shut him down completely. Where is Donald Duke? Is it not Donald Duke? The one building Tinapa? Where is the guy, man? This is how bad it can be. The whole of Cross River State, no single good route. Idiots. That was to weaken the heart of Biafra land, which is the Igbo nation. And so why you yap and yap and yap? It is Gawan who did the dirty job. And everybody accepted him. We thought he was a Christian. Because he comes in the morning and he's saying the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yerubama will be there to endorse it. No Jesu, Uluawao, idiots. And then in the evening, he's the other side and shouting, Lai la hila la bakramisi, hila la 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 hila la bakramisi. He's a Muslim. And then some idiot will be there to complete it like Asari Dokopo. Idiot. And then in the afternoon, he's in the beer parlor. Throwing boogie boogie party. Idiot. And so he stood upon the British throne and murdered us and murdered Biafra. This is what you must know about Yakubu Gowan. He led the world that killed over a million people. They threatened us today. If you have seen the world, you won't be talking and agitating. But, but, but this is why we have to. Yes, I've not seen the war. But I may have seen the war. But in my meeting, there are many people who have seen the war. And they're still there. Very old, but ready to carry the gun again. And then with your present, it becomes an inspiration to what you are doing. One of them saying, Oh, when I die, give my boo to another soldier. Ka, ka, ka. Have you listened to that song? He said, When I die, give my boot to another soldier. Because this battle we must fight to the end. Hallelujah, give my boo to another and let them go and fight for me. Be afraid, be afraid. I'll go and learn that song so I can sing it for you. And we didn't see that. But they are still there. We know what they went through. Most of them as young as 13. They never know their father. They never know their mother. Never mother, I'm not a soldier anymore here. 
na ma motara mu po mu soja ni mo ya ma ma motara mu po mu soja ni mo ya it is british government because that is what they become at the end of the day but idiot like go one make sure he come out today and say hey, we have lost people we have killed people and we are very angry we are doing this but what are the consequences of his idiot action go one people are almost finished they are killing them go one cannot talk he's an idiot still alive there running from one church to another thinking that we save him a very hopeless idiot he's a gangster he's a psychopath very wicked heartless fool but his people are suffering from it he's just a perfect criminal minded individual fit for the job of the british government you will not understand even though i say we do not have time listen to some of the nonsense this idiot talk those of you who is a hero and a rule model to you you are idiot like him the one was simply a gangster a psychopath a terrorist i must tell you listen to him you see a joke called yes yeah, was it because he was a coward was it because he felt that he stood in the way of the settlement <laughs> well yeah i guess it's as good as mine uh, as mine uh, the foreign press seem to know him better than, uh, than than we do, than I do. Seem to give him all sort of excellent quality. Uh, so much about the traveling the rest of us. Ujuku, the gallant chap who said, "I will fight to the last uh, last man, and I will be the last one." You know, to uh, you know that would fall. What a pity! How are the mighty fallen, and in such a cowardly way? If he has done a Hitler, probably we could have fought from his. Now, listen to the idiot. I'm talking about Gowan. Those of you pitying Gowan, you think he's a gentleman, he's a very big idiot. He was just 31 years. He said that the press are praising Ojuku and Ojuku is boasting. We will fight the last man standing. Ojuku is dead, good and fine. But Ojuku is still fighting. Because without what Ojuku and Philip F. Young have done, we will not be here. So Gowan, as idiot as you are, Ojuku is still fighting through us. But look at you. Your one Nigerian has rejected you. Idiot. <laughs> how are the mighty fallen? Oh, how is British government and Nigerian going to fall? Because you are fallen already. Idiot. Those of you who think he's a human being. That is what he was yapping at the age of 31. He's still there today. Everything he claimed to be fighting for. None of them is present here. His people are more miserable than you can imagine all over the world. The full are on their neck. Idiot. Please, a man of courage. He didn't do a Hitler. Hitler took a poison. Died and ordered his body to be, uh, you know, to be banned up. At least because he had, uh, you know, he knew what he's done. Ojuku ran away and left these poor people that he has led into such a... Uh, Ojuku ran away and left these poor people that he had put in this condition. But you have in publish us more. Ojuku ran away. That is what they used to say. He who fights and run away lives to fight another day. He who fights and run away lives to fight another day. He who fights and run away lives to fight another day. Ojuku ran away so that we can fight today. So go on, you get ready. We know your daughter. We know your children. This thing you people are doing, nowhere in the world will save them. But we are ready, you people, we know. Idiots. The suffering, such a uh, uh, object put in a position, just left them, and now probably because with the money he has amassed outside, I suppose that he will go and live in, uh, you know, in uh, enjoy and plenty. Well, I hope he will enjoy the rest of his life. I hope his conscience will, uh, 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 you know, uh, you know, will allow him to rest. God knows, if at all, if I'm, uh, we knew he didn't run to America. He would have run to Arab nation. To go to Arab nation, you just claim to be a Muslim. Saudi Arabia will give you protection and harbor you, feed you as a willing slave till you die. He would have gone to America and promised them the oil in Anambra. And then uh, maybe he would have lived large in America and he wouldn't come back. He went to one poor African country. He came back at the end of the day because he knew he has a job he has not done. He has finished his job and he has gone. And then we are here. And so who is the hero, Gowan? And when you die, your memory will be blotted out. Only that we will remember you that you are idiot and you are a gangster, you are a sacopan, you are a slave, you are just a, 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 a bob in the hand of a, a British government. Look at you. You are one Nigeria, you are fighting to keep the territorial integrity. Look at how you are yapping. And you are uh, uh, those who are supporting Ojuku and love him to really get away with what he has done to his people, to Nigeria, to Africa. Then I think they need to examine their conscience. And honestly, I have got no faith in such people. Yes, you are right. Those who support Ujuku need to examine their conscience and then we support him. We have examined our conscience and we have discovered that everything we are doing is what we're supposed to do. And then in terms of you having faith or not, or not so not, the greatest fool in Biafra is the one who will believe in your having faith in them, will never have faith in you, not today, not tomorrow, not forever. Of course, we can't be good neighbor. That is why we are patient, engaging the global community in our own way. Because uh, they are talking about Middle East, what we come out in Africa. 
<laughs> go on you don't have it you are idiot to just be listening to yourself consider everything that i've led you to kill over 10 million of our people and tell me that you can still do the same thing today as idiot as you are you've now inherited the responsibility for an untold number of new refugees many of them starving i'm going to allow organizations that have been helping the afra like joint church aid to continue flying in supplies under your supervision as you know me i always tell what i feel are they not the very people that really defied it and spit on our face and told us that we can go to hell, we can do our worst, we can shoot down this aircraft, and that would be the world opinion against us. And they mounted all sort of propaganda, evil propaganda against us. Join church aid. The journalist play asked him, these refugees now, we are become refugees in our land, though. so when you see them doing what they are doing, they see us as refugees, conquered people. Go on, these conquered people now, there's so many kwashoko there. Are you going to allow Red Cross and other humanitarian organizations to help them recover and then you help them? And he say, hey, I know they hide my feeling, no. As I tell you, nobody then they ginger for radio, nobody then they say they go shoot down our airplane, nobody then say like this, they go die you, they go die you, and I never know anything, no. That is go on for you, an idiot in Bessa. Some of you are still going to church with him, although he has repented. He has repented and the Lord has forgiven him. But we have not forgiven him. We will not forget and we will not forgive. This is the problem. This is the gangster. And so anytime you're coming and say, oh, he's a, he's a, he's a good man. He's a, this are his good. This, that will not allow me. And so you hear the rubbish he has said. Go on, Yakubu Jack, go on. A gangster and a psychopath. Idiot. These are the founding father of the zoo called Nigeria. No wonder Nigerian can never go forward. But one thing you people must be rest assured is that Biafra is a spirit. Biafra is a spirit. Biafra must be restored. And there is nothing any of you can do about it. But of course, you can save the black people and the Europeans a little bit of pain and let us go. Or better still, we will sacrifice 10 million if that is what it will take. But believe me, we know the weakness of our fathers and we are gathering them, making them our, our strength. Like they told you, we will fight to them standing. I'll be back in a minute. Now when you fight, we should carry up. Never pick up the piece of a broken heart and break up together for she go to go. the back then we are the You know this I am gonna watch you call my big good and I keep an eye, la right, I don't buy a cut the up. Oh, and this other I have any kitty and why I have a kid that you don't have to be the sun and anybody up here than I see by a bad one up and we are fun of them. Me and nothing do with the praise in the flag of And nothing do with the bad alive I must to fight and defend my brother's love of course, Biafra belongs to us. If you know Gowan, tell him we have not forgotten his atrocity. His heinous crime against humanity, his evil, still live with us. Everything he has done, he was bragging. We thought he would never would. But I'm sorry. You still have idiot like you, thinking you will keep us down. But it will happen. This is one of them. He's still alive. They are still lobbying everywhere, lobbyable. The same way Julius Beggar and Shea are lobbying. Oh, Biafra cannot come. Oh, Biafra. But what, are, what makes them fear? Alliance are open at this moment anyway. Our WhatsApp line is 070-815-45642. 070-815-45642. You are not yet join IPOB. I say Biafra anywhere you are in the world. <laughs> Please do. Protest is not our style. But we just want to draw people's attention. Those who are moral should be able to come out and say what we are doing, we have broken any law. But if not, they will remain moot. And that is why you see many of them are moot. But of course, the truth remains that when husband and wife are fighting inside bedroom, nobody will come and separate them. Because they could be playing love. And their mama. It's only idiot that will go into the bedroom and settle husband and wife fighting. But the moment husband and wife play love even into the streets, 
people will talk to them, not to talk of fighting. Ah, Oga leave her now. What in the happen? Madam, you don't do now because they are on the road. As far as we are here doing it the way we are doing, they will not consider it fight. But we know the time we bring this marriage fight outside the streets, they will know that we are serious. Everybody will come and separate. But until then, IP will be their friends. Look for IP will be and join. Some people think it's their running franchise. They are opening department, different department of IPUB. We shall know. But of course, send your data to this WhatsApp line and the nearest coordinator will contact you. There is a massive Biafran incursion already around the globe. Make sure you are in the moving train. We don't want to conquer anybody. We don't want to undermine anybody. We just simply say, let us be. You have been making us for as far as we can remember. And yet, we don't allow us to eat the proceeds of the make you are getting from us. You're beginning living fat and large and with the on our eyes. On the way, you know, we say, Yakuwa. That was our plan once again is 070-815-456642. Our direct line is 081-221-529710. 2215-2971 is our direct number and the special number for the female is 081288 Are you there? Caller on the line. Of course, the Zoo Epileptic Network and the Yoruba and the Guta Media will do what they can do, but of course we are not in the horror. Are you there? Caller on the line. Caller on the line, are you there? Yeah, good morning, my good Good morning, Ada. Go ahead, please. The word is listening. It, it gladdens my heart whenever I listen to Radio Biafra. Because I learned a lot from you. You are our teacher, our lecturer. You used to teach us what we don't know. The first time I spoke with you, my BP was very high. I couldn't talk. I gave my husband to talk. Only time I make sure I wake up every morning to listen to Radio Biafra. Like now, what you're teaching us, what we don't know about the world. To me, I don't know this. Like one man, we were interviewing in um, Amibo yesterday. That is a tailor. The man, they asked him, five years time, where would you want to take your tailoring work to? He now said he believed in one Nigeria. I looked at the evil man from Amish. He called himself evil man because he lived patronage from all those our countries do. That was why he said that Nigeria is wrong. To me, I believe Nigeria is not one because what I have been saying so far, Nigeria are not one. Are you hearing me, man? You need Loud and clear, the word is listening. Okay. Thank you so much for what you are teaching me, especially. I learn a lot from all those you are teaching. Because without this, your teaching, I wouldn't have known what is happening in this our country, in this zoo country. And I believe one day, Biafra is already a reality, and it must surely come to pass. Whoever that said Biafra will not come, that person will go for a So, thank you very much, and continue to enlighten us more. Thank because you me and my family, we are learning a great, a great thing for me. Thank you so Thank much. You very continue much. to bless you. And you too. Continue to bless Marvin Nandikani. Continue to bless the city of And everybody that is working for the progress of the effort. If you go to Tama, continue to bless us all. You see. In Jesus name. You see. If you are a Christian and go and come to worship in your church, you are supposed to send go on to say, go and do restitution. But they don't tell all these idiots to do restitution. You that is still uh, kai kai, still uh, pani, still uh, chen chen. You are the one going to Yoruba to do restitution, going to Reverend Father to do confession. All these idiots are preaching in the church. Don't you know Buhari used to preach in Reading Christian Church? Idiots. They want to paint them, oh, they are good people. If you have the history of Gowan, let it flood the social media so people will know who he really is. Ojibo was asking Gowan, no? and having stopped this war, there are so many uh, uh, refugees. We are not refugees in our own land, though. Because we are conquered people. How do you intend to help them? Will you allow Red Cross and the other humanitarian organizations to come and support to help them so they recover? You say, no, I don't hide my feeling. I'm saying it, pump and play. We will not help them. And honestly, they came on British CNN and BBC and said, we are reunited. It is reconstruction, rehabilitation, and they are foolish people. But behind, he's telling them, these people go teach on Today, now, who they teach on to? It's somewhere there in uh, Plateau State. It's your founding father, oh, Nigerians. Call on WhatsApp, are you there? 
call on WhatsApp. Are you there? Yeah. Go good, morning. good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. That's it. <laughs> I just call um, to appreciate you. I didn't want to talk much because you've said it all. Uh, as for regarding to those who has ear, they should they should make use of their ear because um, they should understand that this generation of Biafra under the leadership of Masin and the Kano, we are under oath. We are in turn. We are We believe in one thing, and that thing is that Biafra will come in our time. The mistake that we are seeing that our fathers of old did, those who started this, who taught us that we are a particular people, you know, living among those who never wanted us. That thing they thought they made mistake, we have realized and we have studied it and then we know that the same mistake we will not repeat. That is why we keep reminding them. We keep telling them, if they have designing spirit, they could be able to tell and see better that this weather that cladded in this way, the, the rain will fall and it shall beat everyone both small, great, and uh, how do they say it, are right. Mas, I thank you. I thank you very much. I, I, you know, the last time I said that, uh, I wish you know, but I don't think you really know why Tukwabiyama brought you to this platform because he knew that a day like this, his servant Mas Nandekan will be doing other things with which offer, and then you will walk in the same lane they have left. You are really dealing with the enemies. I wish they will understand. They will know that we are not happy. You see, Mas, <laughs> you mentioned names like Oyomi and Kohot. You know, these people, they, they are thinking that we are joking. You know, maybe they want to have joined the leagues. That is particularly idiot. I used to write because now I'm still on uh, Facebook um, uh, bucket. This idiot, I used to call him a street writer. His name is called uh, 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 Charles Hubu. I'm, I'm sure he's listening now. When you want to call the name he of always, those, those kind of people, put idiot. He there. always comes out. Put idiots on the beginning of their name so they know they are idiots. Idiot. Obviously, obviously, idiot. obviously, obviously I've addressed his stupidity. He's an animal. Yes, yes. He, he comes out to write when he hears our leader talks and stuff like that. He, he come and start writing because the last time uh, he was called upon to come and talk rubbish in, in, in BBC with uh, Joey Bokwe, he thought he has a right. You know, these people, they think that we are joking. I wish they will listen and take and take correction of what you are, because what you are giving to them is advice. You are serving them advice. You are trying to tell them, listen, we will not, we will not, we will not just go and sleep. So many people have died in this struggle. And those people that died, they are crying. They are blood crying. If they are thinking, if they are thinking that we will, we will one day say, it's all right, all everybody will get on this boat and then we will cruise home, it's a joke. If you imagine venting against this struggle, it's not a down. Our dozers are breathing. We write it down, we have a record. And when it matters most, we will revisit it. I'm so happy. Gowan is listening. His children is listening. Those of his kind, those who join them to imagine evil and kill our people in the, the den, they are also listening. Of course, they, 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 they are 11 of them, 11 contractors. The, the, the bottom that line is, is that most of them are dead, but the remaining five of the gangster psychopaths who shall address their stupidity this week. Even their children, no, you bet their children will also be a No, 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 no. Their children and are drunk and prost uh, patronizing prostitutes around the world. <laughs> that is who that's, they are. That's, that's, their children are yeah, not. That's their, that is their that's lot. Their judgment. Before they are yes, very present, it. everything they labored for is being squandered. By their lunatic Justin. children. Only their children Justin. that will disassociate from this, their father terrorists that will see good life. Justin. If not, Justin. go and look at uh, Nandia Zikiwe's son begging money. Yes. They are begging yes. pocket money. I was sick of Africa. I was, I, imagine, 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 Naz, I, was, I was listening to my Tama. Sure, my Tama says something that Azikiwe, this one is not only the saying, it's not Mas Nandekano saying, it's not Uchemofo saying, it is my Tama, Sure, he said that, uh, that Nandi Azikiwe compromised. He gave us, he gave our life to Nigerians. He gave their friends. He, he doesn't, if he doesn't care and we die, they thought they will finish us all. No, they will not. And let me allow Thank our brother you because you, anybody that called, anybody that called now and start thinking and talk, 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 I pray. Okay. People should listen because what you gave us, the, the antidote, the injection, the enemies they have had we because we are not happy. We Thank you, my brother. God. Yes, sir. Caller on the line. Call on the line. Good morning from here. Da. Go ahead, please. <laughs> Because before I am down, I want my video. But now I come up, or do you want to be a little bit of 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 a
you must have a good one. You are going home. You are not going anywhere. Biafra is our only home. Biafra is our land. We are not living in We are not living in our land. Even if we go one, even when you know the no one will call a block room because man. Anna, I want to be a nice thing. We are spirit that we can never move spirit to you. I'm not a very See, see. Thank you very much. Our people must understand the simple truth behind all this thing. They pretend, oh, we are one Nigeria, we are indefensible Nigeria, I love people Nigeria. Just if I let you listen to the end of this clip, it will amaze you. Of course, go to Radio Biafra page, you will get it there. No, they are conquered people. We can't take care of them. They are going to suffer. I think they were gingering us. Hey, they are going to be hungry. They didn't even allow them. That is why we are talking to German, to one Julius beggar to hide and be stealing what they are stealing. Because we will not spare them. The only people, most of the people who took their, stood their ground, entered storm to bring food for us as aid. Most of them were right across from Germany. I don't know what they call themselves again. So German should talk to idiot Julius beggar. They can be stealing what they are stealing. Getting involved in our way. If we get them, we will stretch them. Idiots everywhere. Go on, it's somewhere they can claim it what is not. Are you there? Call on the line. Call on the line. Are you there? Of course, that is your epileptic network, but we must continue. So when anybody tells you they are our founding father, you should be able to know who they are. Are you there? Call on the line. Good morning. Good morning, my brother. Go ahead. Your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, my name is Obedeshku from Mary. Go ahead. Morning. Hello, my dear. I'm all over the world. I greet everybody. Trying to apply all this affair to our freedom. We are suffering here. A lot of people are dying for hunger. Nigeria is destroyed already. We are calling international organization. European from the European Union from the National uh, International Union Organization and America, we are calling them to come and help us. We are calling everybody to get up to join IPOB. IPOB is the only way. My brothers wake up. People are dying with the Indian we are contact of one and they are not really kind of manipulation they keep us, they put us into. I don't know. If it is done, we need to be fighting, let us fight it and get it to us. We have suffered a lot. We are in this country, we have suffered. Nothing is going on. No movement, no business, no food. Please, we are calling the United States of America to come and help us. Let them announce their plan. If they announce their plan, we are going to pick us. We are going to the end. They are not in, they are not going to be just. They are idiotic. One is an idiotic. Why is an idiotic? We don't want to hear their name again. Those people, let them go to a place. Let them go, let them go to a side. We don't even care about them. If they need to go out, we are shooting. So please, uh, my brother, only be please. We are begging international organization to come and help us. You, you, you are begging them. We have been begging them, but let them do what they like. We are begging like. them. We don't no, want you to say you, you, are begging them because I'm not begging them. I'm only calling on them to apply their wisdom to reasoning. It is as simple as that. They made law that have enslaved everybody, including themselves, and it will be honorable for them to begin to comply according to the very constitution that is meant to govern the world. The United Nations was there for a purpose. Now they serve the Islamic jihadist agenda more than the rest of the world. You have the African Union, who is being on, that is being funded by the resources stealing, stolen from our land, and you think these people will allow the food on their table to go? We don't beg them; we ask them to do the right thing. But of course, you are the yeah. one begging them, and I won't oppose you. Do you understand? Yes, I won't that, beg them. I, have, I won't beg them. Come. Let them bring their those, that, those, those are our brothers that is working for Nigeria. Let them talk. Let them talk. Those that are playing ball, those that are working for them. That is their they choice. Should resign. That is Let their choice. Let them resign for their work so that they know that we are serious of what we are doing. Let them resign. If everyone can resign like uh, I'm, I'm Bagonia, let them resign. If it is gone, let us carry on and fight them. They defeated you who are still there. They defeated but they can never defeat us again. And they who said, who said again. so? Who said already, so? We are already. If it is said it is it is let us to, if, if the airport will come, let Nigeria perish. I Thank pray to God every much. day. I say anything that will make the airport not to come, let it go to exile. Let that thing perish. If, 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 if it is anything, anything that they are doing, let the airport not to actualize. I see, I beg God, let that thing go to hell. If it is gone, go down. Help us. Thank you very much. Let them help us. Let them help us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Are you there, Colin Waza? Yes, mother. Good morning from here. Good morning here. from here. Go ahead, please. Good morning, dear friends, lovers of freedom. My name is John Robo. I'm from Abia State, you know, in the local government area, calling from Cross River State, Econ. Mother, your topic this morning have enlightened me the more. Um, this morning, I want to use this opportunity to pass this message to God. One, well, 
because I know very well that he is listening to Radio Biafra. I know very well all of them that committed atrocity against the Biafras. They are all listening to this radio because they are afraid they are no longer comfortable. Go on. You killed Biafrans. More than 10 million Biafran were massacred under your watch. And you were thinking that we are not going to remain again. Woe unto you. Woe unto you because more than how many millions of people that you have massacred are living today in this world. Biafran will come. I remember vividly go one that when our brother died in a, one of our brother died in Gator State, I think that was 2017. I've uh, forgotten the name of that man. You came for the burial. You came for the burial. You used your uh, 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 Amorca to come for the burial, but the land still recognizes you. The blood of the innocent people, their friends that you murdered, recognizes you and they struck you in that burial, which you were hurt away when you fell down in that burial in Asaba. The people that you massacred in Asaba, the blood, were haunting you and because, hello? Hello? Okay. Of course, we must continue. Along the line, your name and where are you calling from? Okay. Good morning, Good morning, my name is David. Good morning, all black friends all over the world. Good morning, my great leader and his deputy. My name is Ukela Fanny Salam Bano in a Kiko Prison. My sweet and darling any day, I so much appreciate you. May God bless you. I'm so happy hearing your voice. Any day I didn't hear your voice, <laughs> it will feel as if I lost a lot of things. Thank God for you and your family, your beautiful wife, your beautiful children, your amazing guy that protects them. As you are speaking this word of truth, May this word of truth guide you and your family to see Biafra and beyond in the name of the relationship and I pray. My dear, the one you are talking of, those are the five idiots that call themselves generals. They thought they, 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 that they have caught out of. Look at you saying that uh, we are the ones talking in the radio that we have done this, we have done that, but we are not to die. He thought he has killed us. He didn't know that we are sick. You cannot kill what God has raised. Because the word of God says that when the Lord has made, who is going on to cause? Now, the word is weeping. I am happy before I have been saying, Oh, go on, did all these things to us. Yet he's still alive. I never knew that God wants him to die immediately. For him to see how he kills men, we be slaughtered as he slaughtered the Asaba massacre, as he initiated the killing of the black man. I never knew that God wants him to see all this so that he will die crying. He said he has repented. He has not repented. Because if God will really repent, he is supposed to say the truth. No transfer between him and the Jukun. But up to now, he's still lying. He is still lying. An old man. He cannot say the truth. He said that the Jukun did this, the Jukun did that. But the Jukun is an honest man. The Jukun knows that what's going on. He's going on because of his stupidity. The but, but, but do you know it was Jukun? Do you know it was Jukun that trained Gowan under a British yes. directive? It was Jukun exactly. that trained Gowan. When we come to Tiwa Danjuma, people will understand who Tiwa Danjuma is. Idiot. Go ahead, please. Do you have a voice, Madara? Where you see now? He's crying. He has not started crying. Those families, he plays in Jaffa land. He thought he told you, man. God, Lord of Nature, he plays his daughter. He's coming because I, according to him, he said that kingdom rise and kingdom fall. And the word of God said that no kingdom shall remain forever. And all this perhaps they are doing that is just for a separate time. They are both time. Because it is, it is said that evil men are created for evil days. We are not evil days in evil days. And the evil, and the evil, evil will slay the wicked. The evil will slay the wicked. Yes. They are meant for their self destruction. Exactly. Go ahead, please. Yes. And the word of God says that time shall come. When we be, you will be present as your family, and you will say that there was a time great men live here. But now they are no more. This is the word of God. The word of God must manifest. So the one is going to read what he has sold in Nigeria. And all those evil generals. Now they let Buhari now. The people are using his name uh, to be doing evil in Nigeria. And his stupid children get quiet. I saw her daughter fucking rubbish in the in the in the in the media that the the ten thousand then you come to this. He cannot even speak out, but this is talk like how can you how can the children of Buhari be so wicked, so useless that they are alive in people using their father's name in painful things. But they have been paid now because less they have been paid. They have been paid. Lazy Yusuf Buhari, the first son of Buhari, is the fourth richest youth in the whole world. Do you want them to take it from him? A very lazy youth that has never walked anywhere in the world. He's the first richest youth in the whole world. 
idiots are coming to investigate uh, 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 Allen uh, 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 Onyema. American FBI is coming to investigate Allen Onyema. They will still investigate IPOB for fraud. But there is one lazy youth idiot, late Buhari useless idiot son. Yusuf Buhari is the fourth research young boy, youth in the whole world. Has he has not worked one day anywhere? Idiots they are telling us to shut up. It is a hate speech. It is a hate speech. Idiots. Go ahead, please. Well, that is that that is life. Um, I'm calling my dear friends, brothers and sisters, wherever you are, please forget about this divide and rule. We are one. They just divided us because they said that uh, if you want to destroy people, divide them, change their names. When you change your name, when you buy a dog now, maybe the name of the dog where you bought, you bought it is a dingo. When you, you take that uh, dog to your house, you cannot call it puppies. You change that name so that it will suit the other person who is that dog is new now. So that is what they did. They pretend to them, these people are strong. These people cannot uh, give up like that. The best thing is divided. And when you divide them, you, you put, you put uh, 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 the, uh, the, uh, a limit between them. Then, um, they said that, okay, uh, Vashanda came on his phone and said, okay, take this part of uh, the Afra land to get a room. So that they will be fighting with them alone. Then we will not recover ourselves. Not say that God is uh, the only uh, force that drives us. God kept, kept, keep quiet. Let us do all those things that the cat cannot have stolen from you, shall they come to you. So these five generals that are still living, God allowed them to live. So see, that just, that uh, Nigeria, they, 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 they slaughtered innocent so forth, so that they will die miserable. Or what they start crying, he has written having letter, and he's still writing. He will continue writing, writing, or he will never see him again. So but, 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 what, what letter and is he writing when he didn't go to school? Left. What letter is he writing so when he didn't go to school? Idiot. Thank you yes. very much, Ada. So they are, they are compact, I call them compact idiots and hooligans. They are morons. They are then, they have not, they, they are more, more than shit through, all of them. They thought they are, they, are, they, are, they are doing something. They don't know that they are doing their doing. All I know is that the wicked shall never live. This is the word of God. They are living now, but today and tomorrow, we have had a lot of parents before. Where are they now? So they are not a, a, a special. They shall go down like other parents. My fellow dear friends, please rise up. Let us get what belongs to us. Remember, it is a sin if you allow people to take what you want to do without their action. Let us rise up and join effort so that we get our freedom. Freedom is everything. You may, you may get money, you might have all you or everything like that. But if you don't have freedom, you are going to take that to Nehemiah. Nehemiah could have thought he has uh, arrived. But they can join him. They, 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 they have seized his international passport. They have seized his international passport. Yes, okay, you have seen it now. Let's pass all his money. So whatever you have without freedom, you are still in bondage, you are still a mess. Arise, oh you dear friends. Arise, oh you dear friends. Possess our possession. This is the rightful time. Don't be a sabo. Sabo two shall die. Anybody that will fight in this trouble. This uh, this this design call. May God of all may God Almighty, the God of dear friends, the God of righteous flesh, the God of justice. May God drag them to death. May they live miserably. May they never see the light of the day. In the name of Jesus, Shema, I pray. God, only the God bless you. I'm so happy. Dear God bless you. We love you very, very much. We love our leader. We love the people. We love all the leadership of Ivo. We are saying, may God Almighty guide you people, grant you wisdom, knowledge, and long life to see Diapra restored and beyond Diapra. So that the readiness of the restoration of Diapra shall be your, your, your joy on all the days of your life. In the name of the Haitian Shaman, I pray. Amen. Thank, Thank you, you very here. much. God bless you. And bless you too, ma'am. Are you still there, Colin WhatsApp? Colin WhatsApp. Um, as I was saying, uh, the Zoom network will not allow me to say something. I just want to address uh, the stupidity of Gowon this morning. Gowon, because I know anywhere that you are right now, you're listening to this radio. Gowon, all the atrocity that you committed against Biafrans, you killed more than 10 million Biafrans. And you're thinking that you will finish us. You can never finish Biafrans. You can never. You are very hopeless. And stupid. If you are not, of course, I don't know what I, because I can remember vividly 2017. There's this um data man that died when them grown came. I know that he must have forgotten some of his atrocities being committed against us. He came to that burial and the crown, the land of Biafra, recognizes him. When he came to that burial in Delta State, he fell in that burial. He fell down and he was hauled out from um, with ambulance. Yes, Biafran is a spirit. It's, you're not dealing with woman. Go on. You are not doing woman. You are dealing with a spirit and spirit never die. The atrocities, the humiliation that you have brought to our people, Biafran, you will sit down and repeat. You are not going anywhere. 
go on you can never go anywhere you will sit down here on this earth and reap the evil that you have done to us you will repeat your life will become miserable and hopeless because you are an idiot you are an idiot you will live and see that Rafa will be declared and that very day you will fall and die because you never know you never know that the remnant of Rafa will rise in today and defend what belongs to us I just want to remind you that whatever they are doing, all the evil deeds that you have did from the time past, your children and your generation, they, it can never be where we get. can never be where we get. They are not going anywhere. Go on. You will sit. Sit down here and see all the evil that you committed against us. Until then, you will know that your life will become miserable. Idiots. And as for us, we therefore, all these people under this umbrella, sabotaging, thinking that they want to copy the life of Ifajina, it can never be well with you. Your life will remain miserable and be one night, be like one Nigeria. Because since you does not want to stand up, stand up and defend what belongs to you, you are doing sabotage. When they give you brown envelope, you will come outside and tell them, eh, George Onyibe, he is broadcasting from a year ago. Go there and get him. You will not succeed. You people will not succeed. You will fall down like if you know, because the Nigerian government will not pay you good, rather they will pay you if they will pay you with evil. So if you are there, Galavantin, uh, uh nobody now no live out, uh, waiting on the talk self, you are doing yourself. If you are pointing one finger at one particular person, the rest also is pointing on you. That means if you know yourself, we are under oath. If you know yourself, know yourself, know that we are struggling to get only one cause, our freedom. We don't want to conquer anybody, we have never conquered anybody before. What we ask for, we want to go home. Biafra is our home. And Nigerian government and British, remember that the Israelites, when they went to the Egypt, they were just 12. But when they left the land of Egypt, they left there in millions in numbers. So as Biafra, we are leaving you people despite the, despite the atrocities and the killing and murder and starvation that you people committed against us in Biafra land. When uh, Biafra genocide was on, we are in large numbers today. We can never be wiped out. Church and Yibe, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. May Chuko Kikabiyama continue to straighten us and help us to restore their friend. In the name of Chuko Kikabiyama's name, I pray. You see, you you see, see. we must continue. See. Yes, a caller on the WhatsApp, are you still there? Yeah, my senior brother, George Oyibe, good morning, sir. Good morning from here. Go ahead, please. I'm really enjoying your program. This, your, your, your topic this morning led me to, to, to really believe that there is reincarnation. Because... After killing 10 million Biafrans, today, Biafrans are more than 80 million. My mother told me that her youngest brother was killed during that Nigerian Biafran war. And that her youngest brother, she said that he reincarnated to me. I believe, I strongly believe in this very thing. No, no, did, and, did you, did you, I, hold on, did you truly think that he died? Now, let me tell you, some of them who left home, they didn't go to fight for war, but they didn't come back again. Some of them, yes. those children were looking for some food in the farm to give to the elderly people to eat. They didn't come back again. Some of them picked arms as small as they are to defend their father. They didn't come back again. And you think they are dead? And somebody will drink wine over their demise? And even issue press communicate that we have to die? They are idiots. The word must be put. Rather, their friends in the Uguawosa should know who Yaku Jack Gowan is an idiot. He's a psychopath and a gangster for British government. We will know who they are because they can't deceive us. It's amazing. When we talk to our Sausa, may not understand, but who cares? They are idiots. Nigerians now should look at the Yoruba. Yoruba, the one writing our history. Who gives them the right? Who the hell are they to tell me my father's name? But the day this thing will begin to backfire, people will not understand. Go ahead, my brother. So, my brother George Oyibe, I strongly believe that even if I was killed during the Nigerian Biafra war, being one of the Biafra soldiers, this time I'm a hardcore of IPOB. Nobody, nobody can kill me again. I strongly stand on my friend that I will fight this war. When this war starts again, I will, be, I, will, I will fight to the last. And I'll make sure that I sweep off anything called Nigeria. And I, I thank you, God, George Oyibe. I am calling from Ono. My, my, my province is Ono, from Oweru. I called you last night, and then whenever I hear your voice, in fact, I used to be like somebody that her, his mother just came back from market. My names are Kingsley Yano Igwe. I'm one of the coordinators here in my province. 
and Oweru Unit 2. That is where I'm leading. Therefore, George Oyibe, we keep on spreading this gospel until the last moron of Biafra must, 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 must stand firm and be sensitized and know the, 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 the origin he comes from. Therefore, George Oyibe, may God bless you, bless your family, bless Nan the Cows, every principal officer of this very but of this very family, in the name of Chukwu Kikabiyama, I pray. He said, Thank you very much. We must continue. Call on the line. Are you there? Yeah, good morning, Judge Onibe. Good morning. Go ahead, please. <laughs> this is my first time to get your number. I have signed this number more than one month now. Uh, Onibe, I thank you so much for all the effort that you people making for the restoration of Jaffa. Uh, my name is uh, Wichina Ozemelam. I'm calling from Monisha. I'm a hardcore Jaffa. I am a lover of Jaffa from blood, bone, and flesh. So, and I believe by the special grace of God, Jaffa will restore. Nothing in this earth will stop Jaffa. I believe that Jaffa is a spirit. And no one, no one in this life can start or can stop spirit moving. It can be possible. So, I believe so. So, my dear brother, there's uh, one thing I want to say about. Uh, the one issue. I would let me tell young people, uh, sometimes God allows things or evil to happen for other people to learn from there. Sometimes something happens, God wants to use it to teach some people lesson. If you look around Nigeria now, you will verify and you will confirm that even the Nagazi Kiwi family is more, is more, what am I used to compare it in giving? I would say even the I would say full of me, ordinary I would say full of me that moving cattle is no better than not the Azikiwe family today. Come to nature. If you know, if you see the place, the Anand Azikiwe mother, their father's, their father's place or compound, my dear brother, if you come there, if anybody told you that this is the way the place they born in Anand Azikiwe, you will get it. You will cost that person. I'm telling you the truth. You know me, here. So anything some people do, they think that they can be, you know, maybe they can benefit that moment. But they forget the future. They forget what can happen in next some eight years or some minutes. You know? Maybe today, if you check around, you will see between Utuku and the Nagaziki, you will see that Utuku family is more better, 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 better than Nagaziki family. What happened? How do you think that you can lay a foundation with blood and expect that that foundation, that that building or that structure will, will stand? I'm only telling people, even in the church, nobody in this life can make Nigeria to stand in nothing because we are having what they call um, uh, generation hatred, inborn hatred. When you see a big man, a big small baby that's here about you now, so the first thing you come into your mind is Aboki. And immediately you call him that Aboki. So his own spirit will tell him that this is the worst of his own enemy. How do you think that those children, because they are leaders of tomorrow, and they have already hate those people. And those people, the same thing, hate to this. So how do you think that Nigeria will stand? Anytime I go to church, when they say that let us stand for Nigeria, I just pick my Bible or pick my case and go. Because nothing, nothing, I said nothing in this life can make Nigeria to walk it can be possible. Check around you. Cannot work. Because every day by day we are having we are having enmity, 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 general natural. Each one another. That one is one, one side. Next one I want to say is that in some people that betraying this struggle of uh, Biafra issue, many people that causing this problem we are having today is evil people. I'm telling you the truth. They are the people that dragging us back. Sorry, this sorry, topic sorry, to, sorry to cut. I will not agree yes. to that. Because not until we okay. understand that it's not about the Igbo man, the Ijo man, the Abo man, the Kwaibo man, as the case may be, we will not, we will not free ourselves. More Igbo have died for Biafra than any other tribe. Not because they are more committed mm -hmm. than any other tribe. Because number has yes. to play a role. If Igbo will have more people fighting for Biafra, 
genuinely, sincerely, you should also expect that the Igbo should have the largest number of saboteurs. But by rationale, it could not mean that we judge on the part of the wrong and forget about the good. But we will do that at okay. the next time. But I understand where you are going to. Go ahead, please. Yes, my dear brother. The reason saying that is that when you check, don't stop pollution like governors and other you know, and other people. There are people that are driving us down. But one thing to say is that the joy, the, the joy I have in this struggle is that the poor people, the many masses, in the booth, love their family more than anything. If at all, if they conduct the referendum to do, nothing will stop their not to go. One day I watched television when uh, a is telling senators in the Senate that if they believe that people that ask for a Biafra thing is a town, let them conduct a referendum. If they not go, they, they will kill out. That they will, they will commit suicide. To tell them in the Senate, I watch it in AIT. It's unfortunate we lost that caller who was making a very wonderful point. But having said so, our people must understand. There is a way things work, and we understand how it works. And that is why we are still here. They say we don't praise anybody, we don't appreciate anybody, we don't applaud anybody, but we just want to get Biafra. Then you will understand how we have overcome. A lot of things are going on, and they don't want you to know. And our job is to make sure that you are fully aware of your position. And that whatever decision you will make after now, it is all entirely yours. Our children will come back home. You are Biafran. Chinese, a Biafran, American, a Biafran, Indonesia, a Biafran, Malaysia, a Biafran, India. Actually, I have four brothers who are India. If they come, they look like India. Or Setiana. Because my brother married from there. And I was discussing with one man. He said, my children can't cope. Believe me. The anointing for them to battle with mosquito has been sent to them already. Biafras are going home. But we understand that there is a plan in anything God is doing, it has a back of plan. Let it be on clear record. We don't want to conquer Yoruba. We don't want to conquer Arewa. We don't want to conquer anybody. Who, they are the one who has seen us as a conquer territory. They say they will never allow us to be in control of our life. But we say no. It can't happen. British government want to steal oil. To steal this oil on notice, on check. I wonder what IMF is doing. Because if you want to evaluate a nation currency, they say British pounds is the highest currency, followed by American dollar. Do you mean that looting actually enhanced the capacity of each nation currency? Because if that is what it takes, then all of us shall be armed robber. Because most of these countries whose currency are very high are thoughts and criminals, vultures scavenging all over everywhere in Africa, stealing one resources to another. To tie the gold of street in their community, you are lazy. Accept it. Accept it. But uh, this is the truth you, you're just so angry about. You, you impoverish the cross-section of your country to empower a cross-section of your country and you say you are rich, you are poor. You are poor. That is why Nigeria will die hopelessly, shamelessly, disgracefully. Of course, they are encountering it on daily basis. Over the years, Nigeria has bought more jet fighters, more helicopter bombers, more armor tanker, more submarine ships and warships, more AK-47, more nuclear warhead, military warhead, than even the countries that are in war. But who do they want to stop? Just this tiny Biafrans. But we are still here. They have built different kind of prison to stop us. We have been incarcerated, but we are still here. When we talk about a counter with the DSS, I was there. I spent 60 days in a dark room without knowing morning or night. I was on handcuff hand and leg who naked me for that 60 days. That 60 days, my head degenerated to the level that my white blood set was reading 30%. I had acute ulcer. I had premature pile. Different sickness and disease emerged in my body. I had liver infection. In fact, they were using AK-47 to take me for lab treatment. I may be somewhere along the line they thought I was going to die. But believe me, I am healthy more than a horse. We are good to go. But there was a reason why I was allowed to be there. Because we now know what we are not supposed to know. They are idiots. And so by now they should know that nothing will stop Biafra. Nothing will stop Biafra. It's not about George Unibe. It is not about anybody. It is about those who have, they have killed. It is about those they will continue killing. It is about still they understand that freedom is our right. Of course, I'm going to sign off from here. We will continue with other idiots, other lunatics, 
from tomorrow. They are idiot. They are gangsters. They are psychopaths. They are still alive. They are listening. Dr. Baboom is there. It will amuse you who these people really are. And then when you say, oh, they are founding father, you should know how idiotic they are. Idiot go on. He comes to do church service. Idiot. And you want me to worship in the same church with that person? It's an idiot. Do you people know that Peter and Paul fought in the church in Jerusalem? Peter was exhibiting some tendency of hypocrisy. Paul confronted him. Paul confronted Apollos in Ephesus. As of the Apostle 119. Or rather chapter 19 from verse 1. Paul cannot entertain hypocrites. He confronts them and exposes their hypocrisy. You are a pastor that cannot confront God. One. You are a hypocrite. You are an idiot. We are friends are going. We are going home to our nation. And that is all I can say. Do have a nice day. Do the right thing you ought to do. To cook the and guard and protect all of us. Much love from Radio Biafra. They will know. They will know. Biafra's going to our home. Biafra's going to our home. That is why I'm proud to now. Where we came from, we are going home someday. No matter what they do, 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 do. We are going to our father's land. We are going to our father's land and land. Oh yeah. No matter what they do, 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 do. We are going to our father's land. We are going to our father's land and land. Oh yeah. Your friends go to our home. Your friends go to our home. That is why I promise land now. Where we came from, we are going home someday. They might kill innocent people. They might kill innocent children. They might kill innocent children. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. They might kill innocent people, France. They might kill innocent people, France. They might kill innocent children. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, no. France going to our home. Yeah, France going to our home. That is why I promised land now. Where we came from, we are going home someday. Listen to this song, Mr. Hypocrite. Listen to this song, Mr. Hypocrite. No matter what you do, we are going home. We don't have fun of the present song. Someday we are going over there, over there, over there. Someday we are going over there. Someday we are going over there. Someday we are going over there. This is a clarion call from the editor of Fossils on Wine in our Abia province. In the leadership of Mars and Amdekan. We are in this platform for the restoration of Biafra because we are part of the land of rising sun. Biafras are blessed with natural resources. We are blessed with human resources. We are blessed with great technology and so on and so forth. We never call for war. We never call for hatred. We never call for discrimination. But we call for peace, unity, love, freedom, which is our main goal. Biafra is an ancient nation which was earlier colonized by the British in the earlier 18th century. And Biafra nation has been foretold in the process by the Nostradamus from the back that a powerful prince will arise in the world as the trigger of the dawn, that he will be the end of other prince, and the other prince will try to subdue his arise, but all will be a failure to them. Biafra is an ancient nation that lies along the Atlantic Ocean of Africa with great potential of greatness. Biafra is a nation that will restore peace, liberation, and job growth towards our generation. 
Our princess are fought their own and we present their brothers are not going to relent or surrender to this struggle. We are determined to restore our holy land, which is Biafra, with one voice, one accord, one command, and one agenda, which is Biafra. We all thank Almighty to go to Adiyama for his grace, patient love, care, because we are all alive in the land of the living. God has organized a scheme of this in Biafra land. Biafra, we are great in the kingdom of God here on earth. We also thank our leader, Mazin and Ganu. The great prince and the icon, the great of this global struggle of our time, and this is Matthew 24, and all the priests part of state, but the first I group family members all around the world. About the great this of this from AC Joe and Denny from Hospital for Noir and Nava at their progress. Thank you all, and the Jew who took the idea and blessed God to your son.